Okay, so we are going to be making today um, an unagi asymmetrical, asymmetrical clutch. That was really hard for me to say. Okay, so normally um, the pattern has on it rivet placements, which is like purely for decoration. You install them in the exterior bottom front only, um, and there are marks, so you just pop a hole in the pattern piece and then mark each placement and then install a rivet where each of those go. So I'm doing things a little differently today. Um, the pattern also calls for a grommet to be installed in the top corner and then you use an, a gate ring which is like a, an o-ring that opens. Some of them have a, like a spring-loaded side that you can open and some of them unscrew and it separates into two pieces. So this one I'm going to actually make a connector with a D-ring. Um, so it's going to be kind of different just to show you options on how to do it. Also I'm using vinyl. Um, this vinyl I got from Mojo Sews. Ah. Yes, Mojo Sews Knits. There's a Knits. Mojo's Loom Knits. Alright, I will tag that in the description. Also, because I never say this, but if you don't already like follow me or subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, so we are going to use on this one vinyl, a D-ring, so that's different, no grommets, um, and waterproof canvas for the lining. So now the beauty of waterproof canvas and vinyl is that I'm not going to have to interface it. So that makes this like a super quick project. Um, the vinyl that I'm using, it, it was sheets that I bought um, and they were only eight inches wide. So the Unagi pattern is like eight and three quarters inches wide. So I printed it at 90% to shrink it down to just under eight inches. Um, so that I would be able to cut it out on my vinyl the right direction. And then I'm going to make the wrist strap and the connector out of waterproof canvas. So let's go ahead and do that first. Um, let's see if I can do this without double-sided tape. I don't know how well this will crease. I'm going to fold, this is my strap piece, um, which is 13 inches long. If you like kind of a bigger strap, I like smaller straps. I don't like my strap to be real huge, but go ahead and cut like 16 inches maybe if you want a longer strap. Alright, and I'm totally going to use my double sided tape anyway. So I'm just putting this down the center a couple inches away from the ends. And I get my double-sided tape from um, WAWAC, which I say wrong every time. Thanks for pointing that out, Pira, since I know that you watch my videos, which you're not supposed to. Um, I'm just, I put one line of the tape in the center and now I'm just folding each of the raw edges into the center. and sticking it down um, on the tape. And then I'll repeat that on this side. Okay, and then I'm just going to stick another line of the tape down the center and fold this in half again. And the reason I'm keeping the ends not stuck, not taped, um, is so that I can put the hardware on and have this be like a continuous loop with no raw edges. Um, the thread I'm using today I got from Saya Swag Bags. I used the, I think it's Tech 70, 
Yes. Tex 70, um, which is for industrial machines. But I also saw that she just listed last night um, Tex, Tex 45, which is for domestics. And her thread is awesome. So, and the colors have cool names. Um, so what you'll do now after that's folded, I'm going to go ahead slide my connector on. Um, this this swivel clip I got from so whatever. No, moreme.com. Every time I say so whatever.com and that is just her Facebook group. So, okay, so now I want to make sure I don't twist this. Put the wrong put this right sides together matching the two short edges up. That's why I don't tape the ends. And I'm going to just throw a couple clips on there to hold it together. And I'm going to sew this together using a quarter inch seam allowance. And I do have my Teflon foot on my sewing machine um, because I'm sewing vinyl. And it's good for sewing on the wrong side of the waterproof canvas too, which is plasticky. Um, my snips come from Havel Sewing. Um, they have a lot of different cutting tools, which are decently priced. Okay, so now I just press the seam allowance open, and then I'm going to fold the strap And I'll put a couple of clips on it. Okay. So now we want to, using an eighth of an inch seam allowance, I'm just going to top stitch along both sides of the strap. Um, and I'm using a stitch length of five. And also, I, apolo I apologize if you can hear my um, air conditioner in the background. I know it can be kind of annoying that hum, but it's like 90 degrees outside. And my sewing room does not have central air in it like the rest of the house. So um, I have a window air conditioner here. But I would be miserably hot otherwise. So have you ever made a wrist strap or straps for a bag out of waterproof canvas? This is my first time using waterproof canvas for a strap, so I don't know how I'll like it. So far it was easy enough to make. I, don't, I would imagine it should hold up pretty well, aside from maybe getting dirty. Okay, so I sewed around both sides using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And now I'm going to turn it. I like my stitching that I was sewing on the top to be like the outside of the strap because I always feel like it looks a little bit neater than the bob bottom, bottom, whatever. Did I do that wrong? No. Okay, so here's my seam and I'm going to slide the um, connector right near the seam and then I can just sew together across here. Um, you know what, I actually think I might just install a rivet there. Mm, I'm just gonna sew it.
Okay, but you could definitely install a rivet um, right through the strap as well. Okay, so we got that out of the way and let's make the connector real quick too. Um, so I actually, you know what, I cut the connector too wide. Okay, so for the connector, I want it to be only one inch wide. Um, I'm going to fold it in half to find the center and then fold each of the ends into the center. Let me put a piece of tape here to hold everything. Okay, so now it's one half inch wide. I'm going to top stitch down each side using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Oh, and I cut this two and a half inches long. So one inch by two and a half inches. And you definitely can make this out of vinyl also. You don't have to use the waterproof canvas for your connector. I just wanted to make my handle out of that and thought the connector should match, so. Okay, slide our D-ring on. And I think this D-ring I probably got from Strapworks. I buy a lot of my hardware there. And I'm just going to baste across the connector to hold that in place. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Let's see, we need to cut the zipper tape. So I want it to be at least that long. Um, I don't remember where I got the zipper tape either. I try to share my sources. I should keep everything labeled somehow, but I do not remember. The zipper pull is also from Mojo Loom Knits, Mojo Sews bag hardware. Okay, so I just slide the zipper pull on like that. This is the end, it will close to that side. So I'm placing that. Let's see, let's do the top panel first. I want my exterior top right side up and then I'm going to place the zipper on top right side down. Um, I have my clips here that I got from mormino.com and I just ordered more of these. I think um, Lauren actually included these ones in one of my orders, like I didn't buy them, and I didn't think I would like them, honestly, and I really like them for flat things. Like, they don't work for, you know, like, um, clipping a bottom onto a bag, but they work very well for flat, everything flat. Okay, so I want to use here a 3 8 inch seam allowance because this is number 5 zipper tape. I'm actually going to switch out my presser foot. So you might want to use here a zipper foot. I have, um, this zipper foot is a narrow, I think it's called a narrow, just a narrow zipper foot. It has just a little bit of foot on each side of the hole where the needle goes. And I use this for most of my sewing. Okay, so 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. which I'm pretty excited also just from, um, oh, seems so awesome. Seems so, 
there's so many shops and I can't remember the names. I just ordered some of their WTF fractions um, tape. They have a um, washi tape that you can stick on your machine that has seam allowances on it. So mine has a quarter and a half. I think a lot of industrials don't even have that, but I don't have um, three eighths or any anything else besides a quarter, a half, three quarters. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna get that and stick it on the bed of my machine to be more precise with my seam allowances. Oh, and if you didn't catch that, I just moved the zipper out of the way so I could sew next to it easier. Okay, now I want to place the lining top panel right sides together with the exterior top panel. And I'm going to make sure it matches all the way across. I'm actually going to sew it with the vinyl side up so that I can sew right into the same, right along the same line that I already sewed. Oops. Let's pull that zipper out of the way until I get past this part. So just make sure that your two top panels are lining up. And I'm going to sew directly along that same line. Okay, I'm going to move the zipper back behind the needle now. Just make sure you don't pull it all the way off the end. I mean, if you do, you can get it back on. It's not that big of a deal, but. So for top stitching this, it is a vinyl and waterproof canvas, so we're not going to iron it. So I'm just going to finger press that and crease it away from the zipper. And then do the same with the vinyl part. So I'm hoping that this foot will work on the vinyl. I haven't tried it. It might be sticky. It's probably not the best way to find out is to just jump in and do it. But that's what we're going to do. All right, if I mess it up, I can cut another top, right? So I'm top stitching now using a 1 8 inch seam allowance. And this foot actually seems to be fine on this vinyl. It's smooth. It's not really super sticky, so. Remember when you stop to adjust anything, stop with your needle in the down position. Okay. Okay, so now we want to lay the exterior bottom front right side down on top of the assembled top front and zipper. Lining the angled straight edge up with the unsewn edge of the zipper. Okay, so let me just like this. And keep in mind where you're sewing will be three eighths of an inch and you want to kind of look at where that seam allowance is and like line it up with um, where the edge of the top is. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. It didn't to me.
So I just try to make sure that the top and bottom are lined up with each other pretty much. And this is right sides together. Okay, and now we want our back, or our lining, I mean, I'm sorry. Yes. I just... I thought I zipped the whole zipper closed and so I zipped it open. Okay. So we have our lining panel lined up with the exterior panel, right sides together. The zipper is sandwiched in between. And now I'm just going to sew again directly over the line of stitching that I used to attach the vinyl portion to the zipper. Now we'll press the bottom main lining away from the zipper and then I'm going to press the vinyl portion away from the zipper as well and they should be wrong sides together. I am going to place a few clips on here just to keep them lined up. If you're using fabric obviously you would um, iron this. Okay, and now I'm just going to top stitch again along that seam using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And the whole time I just kind of pull on the vinyl to make sure it's staying pulled away from the zipper completely. Okay, so at this point right here, I want to place my connector. I'm going to place it right here. Um, in the pattern, it has you put it in the corner for the small one, so you can put it in the corner if you want. I want mine to be right here on the straight edge. And I'm just, the seam allowance is half an inch here, so just make sure um, that you have more than half an inch from the edge and then just baste it about a quarter of an inch from the edge. Okay, now let me open my zipper so it's in the middle. I want to place, let's see, Yep, exterior back panel right sides together with the exterior front, so I want to make sure it's right side up. And I'm just going to line this up, all the layers, clip them together all the way around. 
And I will trim the remaining zipper tape um, when I'm done sewing this. Make sure everything's nice and flat. Now I want to sew this all the way around. I'm going to back stitch over the zipper when I go over it just to make sure that my zipper is not going to pull out. And I'm just using a one half inch seam allowance. And I'm going to switch my stitch length a little shorter. So I put it on four where I had it on five before. Okay, now I'm sewing across my zipper ends. So I'm going to go ahead and back stitch that. And then I'm actually going to also back stitch over the connector as I sew that. You want to be careful when you're sewing on vinyl not to back stitch too much because it can perforate um, and weaken the seams. Your connector could tear out of the vinyl. And I kind of slow down and hand crank around my corners to keep them nice and neat and keep that curve uh, smooth. Okay, so now we are on to step eight. Again, make sure your zipper was open. Now we're going to place the lining back, right sides together with the lining side. Right? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to clip this together. And I'm still going to sew because I didn't switch my foot back and the foot I'm using does not like to sew on the shiny side of the waterproof canvas. Um, so here you want to do the same thing, but we're going to leave an opening along the bottom. So I'm going to start right here and back stitch. And I'm sewing directly over um, my stitch lines. Okay, and then we get to this side on the bottom, stop and back stitch again. So now we have an opening here. The exterior is attached, but the lining is not. And you can see that on the back where it isn't sewn here. So now I'm going to get my scissors. Oh, 
So I'm going to trim the ends of my connector right now and the ends of my zipper even with the half inch um, seam allowance. And now we're going to trim the seam allowance, but we're not going to trim where the ends of the zipper are or where this opening is. So I'm just going to cut like this and I'm going to trim right around the sewing um, at about an eighth of an inch. When I get to the zipper, I'm going to cut like that. And then at the other zipper, or at the top of the zipper, I'll come back in and again trim around. Just be very careful not to trim through your stitching. Oops, and I cut the end of my connector off, so I mean, I guess I backstitched it on, um, but you also don't want to cut that. So I'm just going to really quick make sure it's nice and secure. I should have sewed or cut it from vinyl side up so I could see where everything was. The connector blends in with the lining since it's made out of the same waterproof canvas. Okay. So again, leave that open. Leave the length there along the opening. And then along the zippers. Okay, and now I'm going to, because I don't want too much extra bulk down here, so I'm just going to cut the vinyl away along that opening. But I'm not going to trim the lining fabric, the waterproof canvas. So that's what we have. I'm going to turn it right side out. Okay, so I didn't turn it right side out, I turned it lining side out. So now what I wanna do is right at the bottom, I just wanna turn the lining in at that hole. And this is the part where it's helps when you can press, but since this is vinyl, we cannot. I mean, you could probably from the wrong side. That might help. Okay, so I'm just turning that hole closed and I am clipping along the opening. And this, like everything else, is a little bit trickier with vinyl because the vinyl is thick. So keep that in mind. If you have never sewn anything before, you might not want to try it with vinyl. You might want to use fabric first. Um, typically, if I make a new pattern, which, I mean, I guess I mostly only sew my own patterns now, but I would sew according to the directions that are in the pattern the first time I make it. Um, because that way you see what way everything comes together. And then if you want to make changes, or sew it out of other materials, then try after that. That way you know where you need to reinforce, what type of interfacing you might want to change to. Um, because it's really different for every vinyl, every different type of fabric. Okay, I just want to make sure that this is all lined up properly. Oh, and I'm unfolding half of it as I go. So you really want to edge stitch here as close as you can 
to the edge because you are sewing kind of through the exterior too. So, so that it won't look funny from the outside when you're done. Just very, very, very close to the edge, as close as possible. Um, and ideally, you could hand sew it closed. Um, I personally don't like to hand sew anything, so I don't do that, but... side out and I'll probably have to like work at this for a little bit um, to not the vinyl is like sticking to itself so I have my little stick turning tool that I use and I'm just going to as I turn it poke the corners out really well with this. Actually, when I get done with this, I'm going to put it inside my heat press, which is turned off, um, it's not hot, and close it to kind of let the vinyl settle into place. Um, and that really gets the sides, or gets the seams or whatever to lay nice and flat. as can be and I'm going to like I said pop it in my um, heat press right now and let it sit there for a couple hours and kind of just flatten out um, then there's the wrist strap so super cute I love this vinyl good quality sews easy um, looks like it's holding up well to my sewing so and that is on pre-order right now I think yes pre-order of a rerun at Mojo Sews and or Mojo Loom Knits. I'll tag it in the comments though, or I'm sorry, in the description box down below. And um, also I'm trying to go through and sew some of my current patterns in vinyl or from different materials, cork, whatever. So why don't you let me know what you'd like to see? Like what pattern do you wanna see me make out of something different than what the pattern calls for? Out of vinyl, um, out of cork, whatever. Let me know in the comments. Um, so I know what to work on next. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, um, and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.